Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about the surface area of a prism and I'm actually going to show you two different approaches to it. Okay, what you can do is when you have a prism similar to this, where it's just a rectangular prism, you can actually think about each face as being a separate rectangle and then add all the faces up. So I'm going to start with the top. This is a rectangle that's 4 by 3. So the area of that is just 4 times 3, which is 12. But since this is a prism, we know the base is also 12. So I can take that and multiply that answer times 2 to get the area of both the top and the bottom. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the side over here, the front side. And this is 5 by 3. So this front is 5 by 3, which is 15. But I have a matching side over here that's also 15, so I'm going to take that and double it to 30. Now I'm going to take the front, this side, and the back side and find those areas. Well, that this side is 4 and the height is 5, so that face would be 4 times 5 or 20. I have two of those. I have one here and one back here, so I'm going to double that to 40. Now to find the surface area, I'm just going to add these up. So that's going to be 4, and that's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 94. And since this is area, it's units squared. Okay, so there's one option when you just have a rectangular prism to find the surface area. What happens if you have something more elaborate, like a hexagonal prism? Well, I'm going to show you that one. Okay, here's my 3D rendition of it. I have a prism and it's got two bases, okay? So this is a hexagonal prism and I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to dissect it for you to show you what we're going to do to find the area. Okay, I'm going to pull the top off and there is a base and I'm going to pull the bottom off and there's a base. Now I'm going to just kind of sketch it out, okay? And there is one of my bases. Now we know we have two of those, so whatever I get for my area I'm going to have to multiply it times 2. To find the area of a hexagon, I'm going to do 1 half AP. And for this particular problem, I'm just going to say A is 6, and the perimeter would be approximately, let's say if this side is 8, it's got 6 sides, so 8 times 6 is 48. So I'll take 8 times 48 times 1 half. So half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 48 is 4, 144, and then that's the area of just one, one base. But if I have two bases, I have to double that to 288. So there's the area, the, I've got 288 square units for my base, for my two bases. But what about the sides of this polygon? Okay, if I take this and I spread it out, notice it's really just a long rectangle. Okay, so what is this distance along here? Let's go back and look. That distance is actually the perimeter of our polygon. Well, we've already figured out our perimeter, and that's 48, because we use that in the formula up here. So that means this side is 48. And the height, I never gave it to you, we're going to say the height is 10. So if this is 10 units and this is 48, I just do length times width to get 480 square units for what we call the lateral area or the sides of the polygon. Now the last thing I have to do is take my lateral area and I'm going to add my base areas, put them together, so 480 plus 288, 8, 16, carry the 1, 768 square units. And that's how you find the surface area of this prism. So let's go over the formulas. Here are the rules. You take the perimeter times the height plus two bases, and that's what we just did with hexagonal prism. P stands for perimeter. H is the height of the, poly, uh, of the prism, and BA is the base area. So, hope this video was helpful.